morning, YouTubers. I'm Steve. I'm just sitting in my off-grid garage build workshop. That we're, um, we're in the process of building at the moment. Today, I'm going to go through um, off-grid lighting, 12 volt LED, low wattage, low ampage lighting. Um, how I've gone about putting it in. Uh, it's low voltage. I bought them off eBay, and they're still good lighting from China, cheap, and they won't use any power like the batteries, so this is what we're going to go through today. So what I bought, the 12 volt, 0.41 amp, 5 watts, which is nothing really. They even take less than that because when I put a multimeter on, they um, they show nothing. They show nothing on the multimeter. So it's had to come in the strip light. It's about 300 mil long. They're made for camper vans and lorries over there, and they come in a kit. So you get the bag instructions but there's not much instructions really you need because there's only two wires with it but you get a double adhesive sticky tape at the back foam bill if you need to just double stick it to something you can do or it comes with these clips as well and I'm just going to be using the clips because I'm going straight to a um, straight to a wooden beam in my workshop and it's got an on-off switch on it there. You can, so you can knock each one on and off individually. If you want to save even more power, if you want to save even more power, you can knock it on and off yourself there. And um, just cut your light each down even more. But to be honest with you, they use that little amount of light that um, you know, the, the fires they are. You've got a little protective layer on, coating, plastic coating on them, and you get them. It's like a little plastic uh, protective. I didn't see it the first time until I got one up. I'll show you in a minute. I put I put them all up apart from this one because. Uh, I thought to just show you putting one up because you don't want to see uh, see them all. But you can see it's got a plastic plastic. You can't really see it. I didn't see it until I went up and I went on. It's got a plastic protective layer on there. It's even more, more better. So get out of there. Got to start of it. Right. See how they come there? Got the clips on the back. These clips come off. So pull the cable in through. Pull them clips off there. I'll show you the full how I, how, how I ended up fitting mine. Don't drop the clips. So these clips, I just set mine. Get the tape. 40 mil from the end, I just set my clip them in. Same that side. 40 mil from the end. Push it up a little bit. The ones are on, they're, they're, they're quite tight. 40 mil from the end, 40 mil from the end, 40 mil from the end, and you've got a bit of leeway there. But these, there's no weight in them whatsoever. You can see the LEDs in there. Um, but before I start, I'll show you how much low voltage these these um, these lighting are. You can do this just off a pencil battery, off an AA battery. I'll show you. Me Rayobi, 
is a real drill. Before I've just unboxed it, before I put it up and do any more stuff to it, I always like to just uh, give it a try. So you can see, on the battery there, you can see a positive and a negative. It's got positive on the lighting. You know, the, the negative's always a, the black and red. Just to try it, just touch the terminals. I'm touching the terminals there and nothing's happening. So that's telling me now that the switch there, there's a switch at the end. So I've tried, I've tried that now. There you go. All them LEDs are working to light up that off a normal Ryobi battery. But you can just off a normal little battery, you can test it. I always test them before I put them on, simply because if they're not working then you package it before you've um, before you put it back. Or I'm gonna fit it, you can send it back to them. But, so that's how I started off like that and fix it up. So we'll strip the wire back now, give me a bit more length on the wires. There we go. Put my wire cutter, my wire shredder. Just give myself a bit more length on my wire cable there now. Probably here in the background, the uh, 12 volt heater still working great. I've no problem with that whatsoever. Keeps the place lovely and warm. Right, so splice, I've spliced them wires a bit now, give them a bit more length on the sides, give me a bit more to work with. So all this system is going to be hooked up to this 12 volt battery here. I've got two of them, I've got more to go into, I've got to build a workbench. I've got the lighting system in, I've got it all wired up and everything, but I've got to build a workbench. And I'm just taking it along, you along on the journey as I'm putting everything in. <laughs> you won't have got any problems of saying that everything's easy to work with. I've got no power connected to the house. So we've got a wind turbine as well to go in, which I'll unbox in another program. And, um, and we've got solar panels as well. So I'm trying to supplement the two together. Um, so that, that's, the, uh, that's the idea behind it. To be all off grid and be its own, own source. And then hopefully, if all this works, I can carry this through to the house, I'll carry my projects through because um, this is like the start of a small project to lead on to big projects. So, um, right, I'll show you everything there. That's all the model of the lighting, its capacity. So, I've got these off eBay. I can't remember how much they were. I think they're only about five pounds each or something like that, they're not, they're not a lot of money, but they, they do the job, as I'll show you as I'm getting them up, I've put five up already, I've worked out for six, six of my workshop all together, so I've worked up, I'll do all these now, and these should be enough lighting, but I'll have lighting on top of the workbench as well, and build all that, so I'll show you putting this up now, I'll just uh, reposition the camera, Pencil. 
So all I do first, I've marked out roughly where I want it to go. The cables I've already put in from the switch. If you use a normal light switch, so all I do now, mark there, where I can put my brackets, mark off, mark off, line across, line across there. It's only rough. There. Mark the line down, right in the middle. Right, so what I do first, to make things very easier, is I pre put the screw, pre put the screw in. Does that make any sense? Change me better, me grill, run better. brackets I put a pre put a screw in so you're not fighting against try to put a bracket up and put the screw up at the same time so that's in it's only soft wood What I do now, just take the, take the brackets off the lighting, take them off, go to one side, go up now, I take each screw out and put the brackets back in. Because I've pre, pre screwed the holes now, it's a lot easier once you've got the bracket on to do it one handed then. There we go, there it up and on. But these are that light weight, there's no weight in them. They just uh, clip up lovely, stay out of the way. And, uh, So all you do now, let's go up. The clips are already there, already there. Come where your marks are. Clip, clip, done. <laughs> Easy as that. Jobs are done. So I've got to cut this wire now, splice these wires together. I've done them on all the others, I'll show you how I've done that. I've used some normal domestic cable. I've used lighting cable for um for doing it, I'll, sh I'll show you that in a bit. I'll just get these spikes to connect it up, and then uh, you know what, you know what to do it. What I need, right?
put away his buck, get the cable cut back. It's not easy. I'm trying to stay out of the camera as well, so usually I don't want to put me back to you. Probably hear a knocking noise. That's be little um, diesel heater just pumping away. It's uh, not that bad. Right. These wire strippers are good as well for stripping the cables off. Each cable in there. Because this is a very low voltage system, it's only a 12 volt system and it's carrying little amperage whatsoever. I'm quite happy to use these little chop blocks. So, I don't usually like not using these, but with this being a low voltage system, you know, it's okay. So I'm going to run this. Right. So what I've done, because I'm using a domestic lighting cable, just a lighting two core cable, I'm using the, as you use on a domestic system, the brown as the, as the, as the earth as the power, and the blue, which is in the, the cabling, I'm using as an earth, which is usually used as a neutral, but we don't need a neutral on the 12 volt system. So I'm, I'm using the blue as the earth, so keeping the brown is what you always use the brown for, it's always the power.
Set. Well, if you flip on that now to hold it. Now that's the last one wired in. I'll just get the camera off the tripod and I'll show you how I've uh, put it all in before we uh, we have the grand switch. On. I've got more cables up here to to uh, to connect. Two more two more cables there to connect. So I'll. Uh, Get on that now. I'll show you that quick. Right, to show you quick what I've done, take this off here. Right. So, what we've got. From the battery, I've uh, got this cable here now from the battery. Uh, I've got it going to the breaker as well. It's only te this is all only temporary for now. So I've got the cable running through up to a normal domestic light switch. But you can see in the light switch, the cable coming in, the what we've used, the brown as the power, is what we use in a domestic system anyway. The blue is the earth, we've been running a 12 volt system, so we don't have no, um, we don't have a, um, a neutral, so I've used a neutral, the blue is the earth, so the blue in my system is the earth, so I've run it up there, into a switch, up to a cable, then I've, I've put the chop blocks and spliced the cable off, so we're coming across there now, there's one, to just connect them all in. We'll tidy all this up after. But I've just connected them all in then. Three, four, five, and that's the latest one we've just put in there now, six. You can see the cabling. Just connected it all in. It'll all be hidden in the end. We just uh, put, put chunking over the end of it. We just put a, do a connection up here now to connect it all up. That's a whole lighting ring connected then, all 12 volt, for 12 volt battery, all off grid. So I'll just, uh, I'll try and get this tripod set up here for this. And then, uh, it's all a bit shaky, but we're learning as we go along, we're learning as we go along. There we go, let's get it back on the tripod. Right. Let's right, so get this connected now. And then uh, we should be all right for the switch on, hopefully. Right. The cables are already spliced and twisted. I'm just going to connect them all into here. So you look for the brown, brown to the brown. Push it right in. Tighten it all up tight. And then your blue, your blue is your earth. So the 12 volt system, most you want is your power and your earth. That's it. You don't, we don't have a neutral in 12 volt system. Don't need it. Tight. Tight 
in there. Right. So that now should be everything connected. So we'll go for a bit of a trial. Trial uh, switch on first. Come back here. So what we're going to do. I'm going to take the camera back off its stand again, so it'll be a bit shaky in a bit. There you go, right. So, what we're going to do now, uh, we've got the power on, the power's on from the battery, temporary cable's in. We've got to build, we've got to build a, a workbench and we're putting proper cable in. So, get the switch now. It's all connected to the switch, but live at the bottom, live in, live out. But see there's nothing on there at the moment it's all off so we'll put it on now hopefully <laughs> or I will look that switches on down there we go there we go there we go see them all lit up there now I've got six of them in and it's well bright enough in here well enough And they use no no power. Well, they use a bit of power, but it records nothing hardly. I, I think I I get five watts at the six of them coming out, which is nothing. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll just couple the switch up now because that's all done. That's all in and done. I've got lighting. That's that's my whole workshop. So I've looked at from now this end, this really the end of the workshop. So that's all the lighting in. Six strip lights, all LED, 12 volt. But then you can turn them off. Like I said, this little switch here. If I want to take one off, I can turn it on and off as I want to, but I, I don't think I'll be doing that. So I'll just turn this off for now. Screw it back up. That's to me is done until we get the workbench done, and then I'll. Um, we'll start the workbench done. I'll uh, reroute the bottom cable. This bottom cable I'll reroute. It, it'll all be packaged here inside the unit. But at the moment, so we keep going. This is winter time. Sunny, sunny Wales, and we don't get much daylight. Well, it goes dark quick. Stand here, can't get the damn package open. There we go. Covers. I just put the two screws on for the lighting. That there is all done. We're all happy with that. Fine. Also, we don't need to use it. We don't need to use valve bolt switches. You can use a normal light switch because the light switch is only four amperes anyway. And obviously, it looks more domestic for coming in and out. So, we'll get all that on. Hopefully give you a bit more content of what we're doing. Um, got a lot of work to do, too much to do, but we just keep chipping at it and I'll keep on uh, 
trying to keep their videos coming as much as I can. I had a bit of a gap because it's been Christmas time and all that. Um, but yeah, I can kind of show you what we can do and hopefully it'll uh, save people money and help people along the way. If there's any questions, just let me know. Just move this camera back again now. Get, me, get, get on my seat. Yeah. Right, right, that's my lighting system in. Uh, temporary. No, no, that was the, 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 the fully gone up there, the name. Temporary down here, we're going to do more with this. We'll do more. Any healing pad, that's how you get all you need, the healing pad. So, well, we've got lovely heat off our diesel heater as well. Update on that, that's been going brilliant, no bother with that. I just come straight in, pick the remote control up, <laughs> and it's on. Uh, the battery is keeping okay. We've still got a ton of the voltage on here for the battery. 11.5 volts still in the battery and I haven't charged it all. I can run an um, extension lead from the house to the battery and uh, charge, charge it up at the moment, but I've got like, my house is like 200 feet away from, from, from where I built this workshop garage, so that's why I'm putting all this off grid. So I'm running an extension lead in, but I've got a wind turbine and a solar system to go in to offset that. So. I'm going to try and get the wind turbine up next, so we'll keep in, we'll keep in touch with that. And um, yeah, that's it, that's 12 volt lights in, happy days. And uh, I'll let you know when we're going to do the next thing and keep up with that. And hopefully it'll keep you posted and keep you going and, and uh, maybe you guys can tell me what to do, what you want to see. And, what I can help you with, or if maybe you can help me. <laughs> so I'm Steve, I uh, live in Wales, North Wales, and um, if you want to join me along for this workshop build, I'll try and show you as much as I can. Thank you, see you soon. Hello YouTubers, Steve back again uh, from the off-grid garage build just to let you know where we're up to um, I've got the 12 volt Chinese diesel heater in I've got my lighting done um, and then what I'm going to show you now is because what other people have asked for is they haven't seen is the actual build of my workshop at the time, and I never had the camera. People say, no, you should document it and show people, because I've done all this mainly on my own, by the help of a, of a few people, mainly help of my lovely wife, keep me, keep me fed and watered. Um, it's been a hard build on your own. And through COVID times, I've got ask people to help me, and I've been ill myself a few times with COVID. So we've been, just chipping at it the best we can. So I've got some pho photographs I've put together, so I'll try and put them together. I'm all new to this, so I'm trying to edit and put it together the best I can, which I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying my best. So I'll just leave this quick one, and then uh, you'll see the pictures of the workshop framework being built in, in photograph form. And then um, and that's it really for this one. Just a quick short one to show you the framework, what we're, where we've, we've come from, from nothing. And I've got loads to do, but I'm just trying to chip it in as I go along. Um, so if there's any questions anyone wants to answer, just let me know. And I'll uh, try and answer the best I can. Thanks guys, see you soon.